Hello everyone and welcome to editing shark footage by Sharky Product Reviews and Editing and today I'm going to start with something simple called Color Match. It comes in very handy and it took me a few times to remember it so I'm going to demonstrate it to you and help you embed it into your memory. Here we go. <laughs> Okay, I'm doing two versions this time around. I'm going to do a fast version and a thorough version. For those of you who really want to get into the nitty gritty, stick around. For those of you who just want to get in and out, here is your fast version. All right, so here we have one clip, and then here we have another clip. We want to apply effects to this clip and then we want the same effects to apply to the next clip. And here we go. Color board. What did we do in that color board? We changed the exposure and we want that to happen to this clip as well. And so we have now clipped, clicked on this clip and I am going to use the keyboard shortcut option command M, which pulls up the match color screen you are then directed to mouse over what you want it to match and so I go over to this clip and I click on the screen that I like the computer works it shows you a preview if you're happy with the preview you click apply match and boom you're done alright now for the more thorough version color match what does it mean well let's say that you have a clip like this and I'm gonna pop it on the big screen there and there is a split shot of a great white shark underwater and when I say split shot I'm using a dome port here so that when the water level drops back down you can see above the water line too you get the island back behind there um, but I don't it's just a little dry and dull um, and it happens a lot. It's a little bit washed out. And quite frankly, that's a problem with GoPros and sharks at the surface. Uh, you get all this uh, white wash uh, where they're splashing and creating commotion on the surface and their underbellies and their mouths. Everybody loves to get a shot of their mouths and the teeth, but that also means a big splash of white. So quite frankly, that is a problem I haven't solved yet with GoPros. Um, I'm still working on it, so we'll do that in a future video. For this, let's just do what we can with what we've got. So I'm going to take this footage and I am going to pause it right there. This is a good one to pause on because you see pretty much everything that's important. Make sure, do you see how that turned yellow? I'm going to click off of it and now that's not yellow. Click on it and it is yellow that means that it's actually selected we are going to go in and we're going to make some color adjustments here and I have decided that I would like to lower the exposure a little bit things are getting a little bit deeper a little bit darker um, it doesn't really get rid of the super washed out stuff that's why uh, you just have to have your camera on the right settings in the first place um, not, nothing replaces correct lighting um, the way just natural good lighting does. Uh, there's something else I want to do here to try and solve it and I am going to go down to the video effects in the lower right hand corner here and it's called sharpen and I used the little search bar at the bottom to speed that process up so I double clicked it and I've got to get out of the color board before I can work on that. I think it should switch to what you're working on um, intuitively, but it doesn't. So, got to get back over to the video inspector. And the sharpen starts out low. 
so you have to you're not going to see the effect immediately i don't know why that is maybe the default is screwed up on mine but um raise that you see how the lines are getting a little bit more pronounced in fact that might be over the top here's what it looks like if you get crazy with it if you're trying to be artistic and unrealistic then that's fine but i want to bring it down for this particular case okay so those are the two things that i want done if i turn the effects off by clicking this check mark you can see the before and then I click it again now you can see the after but that's not the only clip that I want to show with what I'm going to release as a social media post or for whatever you're gonna release it for so for example I have drug this clip onto the timeline which is the second time the shark passes and you can see that it, there's a lot of problems going on here um, one the sunlight uh, is coming from behind the hill and reflecting off the dome port and there's probably a splash of water there and this milkiness is caused by the fact that there's a little bit of moisture building up inside the dome port these dome ports come with the little uh, moisture sticks uh, to absorb it I suggest that you use it because obviously in this case I failed but back to that's just a side tip back to what we are really supposed to be watching here is how to try to make this as uniform as possible with footage that was playing right before it all right so let's watch the waterline come up revealing the shark there all right so there it is shows the hills the island behind and the shark pretty well so that's what I want to use as my comparison to know if I matched it correctly and if I'm happy with the results. So let's clip, cut out of there. And I am going to, remember you can go to right here and go down to match color. You can go to modify match color, or you can do the keyboard shortcut option, command M. All right, I clicked it, therefore, you see that we are in match color mode it tells you right down here skip to a frame you want to match and click to preview all right so I'm taking the mouse over to the previous clip that I have already altered because of course I want the next clip to match that clip and this frame looks just fine to me I'm clicking on that okay give it a second and you see this purple apply match uh, button here looks like it is now activated and you see the preview right here it looks like it may have changed I'm gonna click apply match okay so let's drag this timeline that has the effects and now this one has the effects so let's blow it up bigger see if we can actually appreciate the effects another way to make sure if for some reason it's unclear that it is affected make sure that uh, this is selected you can tell by the fact that the yellow bar is uh, surrounding your clip and go over and see if there are effects match color is on and interesting side note if you use match color and you go into the color wheel you don't see those changes so you're not going to be starting from scratch in here it has simply matched this clip and as far as you know this is how it started out because you're not seeing any of that in here like if I uh, lower the exposure it gets even darker So let's uncheck color board. Go back out here. And play the clips together. And let's drag over to clip two.
Okay, it's a different time of day. The sun position is different. It's not going to be exactly the same, but it's closer than it was. Both of them have had the exposure lowered, and that is how you quickly match one clip to another. Thanks for watching. Quick warning only the color effects carry over with color match should be able to figure out figure that out from the name match color but in case you go through and go crazy with all these effects like i've got all kinds of them applied here to this underwater shot of this shark and you're hoping that they will carry over to your next clip they do not only stuff from your color wheel carries over all the effects that you've applied from down here don't oops so when i made adjustments on the sharpness level earlier that means that didn't actually carry over but this is easily remedied so let's start with this clip we have this shark going by and we have all kinds of effects applied to it now if you want to see the effects in the right side you have to make sure that the correct clip is selected for example, you could be viewing this clip, but if this one is selected, indicated by it being um, bordered in yellow, then you're going to see that clip's effects and attributes over here instead of this one. So click that. Now we see everything change over here, and you can see that we have sharpened, bleach bypass, cold steel, cross hatch, color board, and vignette effect all applied here. And if we click this one, we have match color, which automatically brought over a color board, and none of those effects. Okay, so we want this to have the effects. Go back over here, click this, and I am going to go just simply Command C. And then I'm going to click this one and I am going to come up to edit paste effects boom there it is but you can see this is quite dark well for one it's a different clip so the lighting is going to be different but you got a doubling of the color board because through match color we had already done the coloring and then by matching all the effects, uh, matching the clip, we got it again. Uh, I, I mean, if that's the case, I don't even know why they have match color in a separate category, but okay. Um, I guess you might only want to match the color, but not the effects in some cases. So never mind, it makes sense. Okay, so if you want it to look not as so dark because we lowered the exposure which is why this looks the way it looks then let's just go ahead and remove one of the color boards and see it got a little bit lighter and uh, this one all right we still have match color on there so it, the exposure has still been lowered but you can see it now has cross hatch and it has vignette and that everything that it didn't have before when we did the uh, match color, now it has. All right, so there's your solution for that. I guess this was actually two tutorials in one.